Okay, here we got a uh, 2013 Chevy Silverado with a 6.0 engine. What we're going to do is we're going to be changing the oil and the filter on this one here. It's uh, fairly easy, uh, a little bit messy, but not so bad. What we're going to do is we're going to take the drain plug out, and we're going to let the, uh, the oil drain out, and then we're going to change the filter. Uh, you just get a, uh, a socket, put it onto the, to the oil drain plug, remove the plug. Okay, we just let all the oil drain out, and while it's draining, we're going to uh, go around to where the uh, filter is located, and we're going to remove the filter. While it's draining, we're going to remove the filter. And here's the filter right on the side of the oil pan right here. And basically, what you're going to do is you're going to get a, uh, a wrench that's made to take off the oil filters. And you just uh, put it on the filter itself and you turn it counterclockwise to take it off. You loosen it up by hand. And once you have it loose enough by hand, you can just unscrew it and let that drain out a little bit too. And while the filter is draining, we're going to reinstall the oil drain plug. You can screw it in by hand all the way in until it's tight against the oil pan. Then you put your wrench on it and tighten it up a little bit more. Not too tight because you're, uh, you're screwing the drain plug into an aluminum oil pan. And you don't want to uh, strip out the pan. Uh, you probably want to wipe all the oil off of the, uh, the cross member because otherwise you're going to have a bit of a mess when you put this down on the floor. Now once the filter finishes draining, we can take the, uh, the filter out. And we're going to replace it with a new one, of course. When you remove the filter, you want to make sure that the gasket came off with the filter and didn't stay up on the engine itself. Right up. And sometimes you'll see the gasket stays up here. You take your new filter. Take your new filter. You take a new filter and you just put a little you just take your new filter and you put a little bit of oil around on the gasket itself. Just so that it uh... right. then you screw your new filter. Back up where the old one came down. And 
to make a tool that catches onto the bottom of it. You can use either this to tighten it on. And then you just, this is in a tight spot down here, so you won't be able to tighten it on by hand. So you just use your filter wrench and you just tighten it up. Once it comes in contact with the, the seat, you just turn it just a little bit more, just till it's snug. And uh, then just wipe all your, your oil down. And then we'll lower it down and we'll put some oil in it. Okay. Now after you uh, change your filter and you bring the vehicle back down, you want to make sure you use the, uh, the correct motor oil that belongs in the car. And it will usually tell you right on the cap which one, which way oil you're supposed to be using, which is what we're going to use. It's a 530, um, Synthetic blend oil is what they recommend on this particular vehicle. Uh, it calls for um, six quarts, so uh, we'll put the six quarts in and, uh, and we'll start it up and check it. Okay, after we put the uh, the six quarts in, we're going to go inside, start the vehicle up, let it run for a minute or two, and uh, then we'll shut it off and we'll check it to make sure that it's uh, that it's full. Okay, we pull the dipstick out, clean it down. Put the stick back in where it belongs. And pull it out, and I will check to make sure that it's to its proper levels. Which it is. That's it. Fairly easy. And of course, before you let the, before you. Uh... That's it. Not too bad. Fairly easy job to do.